All right, so it is time for attempt number two on planetary imaging using the same camera, so the QHY462C. And I'm thinking tonight I might do uh, the Moon or maybe Saturn. So we'll see. Um, but once again, I'm going to be using the same camera. And this time I added um, this IR cut filter, uh, thanks to Matt Smith, uh, who has a, uh, a channel called Insert Astronomy Name Here. And he told me uh, using this filter is going to be useful for the moon and for most planets. So I'm going to be using that one tonight and we'll see the difference it makes compared to before. One of the most important things to look at before doing planetary imaging is the seeing rating in your current area. If you look at a planet or a star under terrible seeing conditions, it will appear to jump around for no reason. That's because of all the atmospheric disturbances between your telescope and the object. Bad seeing also affects guiding when doing deep sky imaging. Tonight, the seeing here in Vegas is average, 3 out of 5, so it will have to do. Alright, so the plan tonight, let's see what we have here. Um, let's unzoom. So, first of all, the moon is obviously in the sky. Right now, it is... Um, yeah, see, it's almost full, but not completely full. But I might be able to, great, to get a great image of maybe this area here or on top here. We'll see. I don't know if I should do this one first or if I should attack uh, Saturn and Jupiter before they become too low. Uh, Jupiter, I really hope there is uh, the red band for once. I mean, the red um, storm for once because I always miss it. And of course, here it seems the red uh, spot is not there. I don't think that's it. I don't think it's here, of course. I, I, I always miss it. There is never a night where I looked at Jupiter and uh, saw the, the red spot. So the moon is rising there. It's almost full. I think it's like 96%. But I really wish it was completely full for, you know, for better pictures. Because when it's almost full, it's not really amazing to watch. We'll see. And now it is time to wait for Polaris to show up. So right now I am connecting to the Skyx from the mount and it's going to find the home position. There we go. I'm gonna make sure my cable doesn't get stuck. Because for the um, for the max FPS I need to put the cable straight to the computer. I can't have it go through the mount. So when I slew, I have to be very careful. Alright, so it found the home position. Jupiter. Find. There it is. Pretty low. Now I can open the sharp cap. Okay, I cannot forget to focus, of course. Or else I'm going to see a black screen. Let's see. So my main issue with the um, this laptop is that there is no space on it, there's no storage. So the maximum I can do is three minutes on um, pretty much anything. Once I reach three minutes, there is no more space, so <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, so I might have to use my flash drive to transfer files every single time. Great. I'm going to slow to it. This cable. Let's try Jupiter so we can compare the result with and without the IR cut filter. Then we'll just shoot the moon.
The color temperature is a bit off, but I would say it's overall slightly better with the filter. Alright, so now I'm going to slew to the moon right there. Uh, I think it's time to get some images of it. And uh, let's see. Find... Slew. I think it's a bad idea, but I'm doing a, a huge close-up on this crater there. And I'm pretty sure it's bad. I'm only in 320 times 240. That's the only way I can get this much FPS, so I'm not sure. I'm trying, we'll see. So something I just realized is that the moon is drifting slowly. So I think I forgot to change my tracking rates to the moon. Uh, so I think I can do it somewhere here. I guess it's this button. Okay, let's see. So now it should not move anymore. So of course I run out of storage and this crazy light goes crazy again. So I'm gonna have to unplug everything, I mean unplug the camera and use this uh, flash drive to um, transfer files and delete everything. So this kind of killed my night. It took forever to transfer the files. I'm talking 45 minutes plus. I got so bored. I started to take pics of Gilbert. The laptop only has two USB ports. One goes to the mount, the other to the camera. And so I would need a USB hub to plug in the flash drive at all times. I'm just not sure if it will affect the camera's FPS. I had to unplug the camera, plug in the flash drive and transfer files three times that night. And it quickly became annoying. Alright, so I'm actually going to give up. Uh, not because I don't want to continue, but because uh, my computer is always full. So every time I take one video, of between two and three minutes, it's immediately full. So I have to always transfer, like uh, unconnect the camera and transfer with uh, a flash drive. It's very annoying. So um, hopefully I got enough data. And so I'm just going to um, stop for tonight. I'll try to find a way to, to add more storage to this. I guess I'll have to find a USB hub here. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to disconnect the mount and uh, pack up for tonight. And hopefully we'll have some nice uh, moon data. Stacking the files took a while. But I actually love processing planetary. It's really fun to learn new things and the software isn't that bad. Here are the pictures taken that night. I believe they're a bit better than last time, but you tell me. Hopefully, on the third planetary attempt, we would improve a bit more. Maybe do less moon and more planets. We'll see. Clear skies. <laughs>